Welcome to Around the World Tales for Kids. I've got a captivating story to share with you today. The Great Pretzel Caper. It's a fun-filled adventure in the heart of Germany, where mischievous Max and his love for pretzels lead to a hilarious pretzel Olympics. I can't wait to take you on this entertaining journey. Once upon a time in the picturesque town of Bavaria, Germany, there lived a mischievous boy named Maximum Max had a twinkle in his eye and a heart full of adventure. He loved exploring the beautiful countryside and, more than anything, he adored pretzels. In Germany, pretzels were not just snacks, they were a way of life. Max's favorite pretzels were those made by Oma Gretchen, the town's beloved baker. Oma Gretchen's pretzels were famous far and wide for their perfect twist and delightful taste. One sunny morning, Max had a brilliant idea. He decided to organize a pretzel Olympics. He would invite kids from all over Germany to compete in various pretzel-themed games. Max believed that this would be the most exciting event the town had ever seen. Max gathered all his friends and began planning the pretzel Olympics. There would be a pretzel twisting contest, a pretzel toss, and even a pretzel relay race. Max was convinced that his Pretzel Olympics would put Bavaria on the map. As the day of the event approached, Max couldn't contain his excitement. The town square was buzzing with activity. Giant pretzel-shaped banners were hung, and the aroma of freshly baked pretzels filled the air. On the big day, children from all over Germany arrived, each wearing a pretzel-themed outfit. There were pretzel-shaped hats, pretzel-printed t-shirts, and even a kid who dressed up as a giant pretzel. Max's heart swelled with pride as he saw everyone having so much fun. The pretzel twisting contest began, and the children carefully twisted their dough into the perfect pretzel shape. Some pretzels turned out looking more like squiggly snakes, but that only made the game more hilarious. Oma Gretchen served as the judge, and her laughter was infectious. Next came the pretzel toss. Kids took turns tossing pretzels through a giant pretzel-shaped hoop. It was a lot harder than it looked, and pretzels went flying in all directions. Even the seagulls joined in, hoping to catch a flying pretzel. Finally, it was time for the pretzel relay race. Teams of children raced through an obstacle course, balancing pretzels on their heads. Max's team was in the lead, but suddenly, a mischievous dachshund named Fritz decided to join the race. He grabbed a pretzel and ran circles around Max, barking joyfully. The whole town burst into laughter as Max tried to catch Fritz without dropping his pretzel. In the end, Max's Pretzel Olympics were a massive success. The children of Bavaria, and even Fritz the dachshund, had the time of their lives. They all agreed that this was the most entertaining day in Germany's history. As the sun set over Bavaria, Max realized that sometimes the best adventures were the ones you created with friends and laughter. And though Germany was known for its beautiful castles and delicious sausages, it was now also famous for the most whimsical pretzel Olympics ever held. And so, in the heart of Germany, the legend of Max and the great pretzel caper lived on, reminding everyone that a little imagination and a lot of pretzels could make the world a happier place. Thanks for watching this episode. Like and subscribe for more stories.